Hello guys and welcome back to the F1Tube YouTube channel and in today's video I will be reviewing the 2019 German Grand Prix qualifying sessions. And goodness gracious me, that was a manic hour of Formula 1 speed and unpredictability. And although the rain did stay away and coming from an F1 fan that loves the rain showering the track... It was still dramatic, and if the rain does come for tomorrow's race, I think we are in for an absolute thriller. Let's look at the results, and Lewis Hamilton will start on pole for the 87th time with Max Verstappen completing the front row. Then Valtteri Bottas is in third with Pierre Gasly in fourth. A really strong recovery after a tough Friday for the Frenchman. Raikkonen, best of the rest in P5, then completing the rest of the top 10, we have Grosjean, Sainz, Perez, Hulkenberg and Charles Leclerc. And Leclerc's position for tomorrow's race is really surprising, but that is only half the story of what went down in Ferrari today. As we look at the second half of the field, we have Giovinazzi in 11th, then Magnussen, Ricardo, Kvyat, Stroll, Norris, Albon, Russell, Kubica and Sebastian Vettel, who will start from the back of the grid at his home race. After practice, Mercedes really looked to be on the back foot, but when everything transpired in the Ferrari team, obviously with the reliability errors, which we'll get onto later, Mercedes seized that opportunity and Lewis Hamilton took pole with a great lap, it must be said. He dominated that Q3 session, and although Verstappen and Bottas tried their best, they just couldn't match Hamilton. During the whole weekend, Valtteri Bottas has seemed a bit ragged, but at the end of the day, like his team, they seized the opportunity and Bottas will start P3. But today illustrated the difference between Mercedes and Ferrari. Ferrari may have the speed, but Mercedes just have the relentlessness, the bulletproof reliability and the continuity within the team. Speaking of Ferrari, they've blown it. They seemed favourites for pole position and quite possibly a front row lockout, but reliability plagued them of that. Firstly, Sebastian Vettel had an airflow to turbo issue, which put him out in Q1, meaning he will start his home Grand Prix from last place. And that is the second engine issue or reliability issue Vettel's had in qualifying sessions in the last three races. And then in the early stages of Q3, Leclerc had a problem Ferrari couldn't fix it, and he will start tomorrow's race from 10th place. A dire day for the team. In front of his adoring fans, Max Verstappen will start tomorrow's race from 2nd on the front row. That is going to be an almighty battle between Max and Lewis, quite possibly for the win, whether it is dry or wet. Pierre Gasly made a strong recovery after crashing out in FP2 yesterday, and 4th, it's a decent result because at the end of the day, he's taking the points and Red Bull can close the gap up to Ferrari. Moving on to quite possibly the most manic midfield qualifying battle of the season. Starting off with Renault, Nico Hulkenberg managed to get into Q3, which is good for him. But he only has one run in Q3, which means he will start ninth. His teammate, Daniel Ricciardo, was knocked out in Q2, so not the greatest day for the Aussie, but some potential to score points for tomorrow. Next, McLaren. Science qualified P7, a decent day for the Spaniard, but Nalando Norris got knocked out in Q1. I'm not going to slate him too much, because at the end of the day, he is a rookie, and he's performed extremely well in 2019. So as a rookie, he's allowed to have off weekends, but yeah, not the greatest weekend for Lando. I'm not sure if he'll go to the stewards after holding up album, but in my opinion there should be no penalty awarded to Lando because he was on a hot lap and it's just the way it goes if Albon is caught up behind him. A much better day for Haas. Grosjean P6 a great qualifying session but Magnussen locked up on his second run in Q2 which meant well it wasn't going to be a great lap and yeah he was just caught out. Racing points have brought a raft of updates to this weekend's German Grand Prix and that has become evident within the performance. Perez, P8, qualified P8 into Q3, a much better day for him. But Stroll, although he did get out of Q1 for the first time this year, P15 still not good enough because that racing point had much more potential than P15 today. But to be fair, he totally destroyed his chances in Sector 3. The car was all over the place, drifting, running out wide. He was never going to improve. It was a fantastic day for Kimi Raikkonen, P5, best of the rest, Some gr a great chance to score great points tomorrow. On the other hand, Antonio Giovinazzi missed out on Q3, but 
to compensate for that, at least he is challenging for those Q3 appearances and points finishes. There was not a lot of pace in that Toro Rosso today, and although um, Albon did get held up by Norris in Q1, which may have cost him a Q2 appearance, Daniil Kvyat couldn't go much better qualifying P14. Let's just keep it short and sweet. Williams upgrades have not worked. Looking ahead to tomorrow's race, I am praying that there is rain on course for the race because it will spice up the action so much. But looking at who will charge through the field, the most likely options are the two Ferraris, Sebastian Vettel and Charles Leclerc after their problems in qualifying. But we are certainly poised for a brilliant race tomorrow, both in the midfield and at the front. Hamilton v Verstappen. This is a battle I've been waiting for and hopefully it will be an almighty one. But guys, that is it for today's video. Please like this video, comment down below what you thought of this video and today's qualifying sessions. And please subscribe to the F1Tube YouTube channel. And until next time guys, see you later.